I'm here at Paris RV in Payson, Utah, and they have this Palomino truck camper by Forest River. This is the HS2902, and this is my first time ever looking at one of these. So right out back is the entry door. Like how below they do give you a step, and they do have a reflector with Palomino. It's really cool. And stepping inside is pretty easy. They do provide the grab handle. and. I just never knew how spacious these things were. I mean, this is pretty darn big. You have the bed up front, and it looks like a, a queen size bed actually, now that I look at it. But they gave you a really nice mattress. And check out the wardrobe on the side here. It's pretty good size. They provide a vent fan, which probably works amazing inside of something this size. And that's what you see in big fifth wheels. And let's kind of climb up on the bed here. So this right here is some storage. And they have one on both sides too. And then look at all the countertop space above. Speakers. And they have like little sconces on both sides too, those little lights. And a little cubby on the side and on the head of the bed too. Power outlets and USBs. And the television is right here. I don't think I've ever seen a TV that small before. But you have your radio through Furion. And there's just like a lot of space in here and like little storage areas. And I love how much light comes in. They have like a small wood beam on the top of the roof too and LED lights pretty much throughout too. And I like that you can turn them on individually too because these lights do put out a lot of light so they kind of get overbearing. But check this out. You have a small little step here. This sink is probably nicer than some fifth wheels. And I like the black fixtures that they're using too. Three burner cooktop and the oven down below. And then they do provide the microwave. Air conditioned above. This is a Dometic unit. And check out your Dometic refrigerator. It is gonna be gas and electric. And it's a pretty good size too. Yeah, this is really cool. And this is just for your solar power plugs. And this is going to have a breaker on it. And I wonder if this has storage. Nope, it doesn't have storage under the bed. But yeah, this is really unique. Alrighty, so here's some more storage. Nice size drawer. Breaker box. And these drawers are really large too. This is gonna be basically your pantry, but you can also use it as a wardrobe. Control panel. And this does have a tankless water heater too. Suburban furnace. Yeah, this is really nice, especially for a couple. There is a slide out, I don't know if I mentioned that. And if you were ever wondering where the batteries are, if you're new to this, because this is my first time, so I would have been looking for this on the outside. Where the heck are the batteries? So the batteries are down here. And you can see some of your tanks too. And that's one thing I like about this RV is it looks like it's pretty easy to work on. And it looks like you have removable trays. And it's like this does recline out too. So yeah, it's right here. And it's kind of like on a platform too. Wow, this is really nice. The only thing you probably would be looking for is a television, which is over there. But it's not a bad angle, I guess, especially for the person sitting right here. You probably were wondering where the bathroom would be at. Well, the bathroom is right here. And this is a wet bath. So this is kind of small 
and they do provide some shower curtains obviously not to get this door wet and you, if you don't want to splatter water over on that side here's a shower head it does connect to the sink and a little bit of storage right there some power outlets and this is gonna be a plastic toilet I probably would want to change this out at some point just because plastic starts to smell over time and that's why I prefer to have porcelain oh yeah one last thing you do have a skylight and a vent too in that bathroom so here's the front design of the uh, truck camper here I like that they give you that windshield on the front too that does give you a lot of natural light coming inside and just under you can see you have your battery disconnect this is connected to the jacks to give you power and then you have your seven-way plug right there which should trickle charge the batteries and then here's the easy charge and then these are the vents for the batteries that you saw on the inside too I'd almost rather them just run AGM batteries so you don't have to deal with that but that's just me and this is the back of your refrigerator Schwintex slide which is nice for this rig and it's, here's some of your gas lines nothing really to see on the sides of it right there and this is the back of your furnace too I just saw the suburban heater there and we provide this little door here on both sides if you do have something on this side of it and out back they're using LED lights they do provide a ladder as well and one thing that I like about this rig is this. Everything is super easy to work on. Your tanks are right below. If you need to replace your valves, they're so easy to get to. That should probably take you 15 minutes. Even the one back there should be pretty darn easy. That's probably for the gray tank, for the sink in the bathroom. And there is some storage on the back of the bumper too. They provide something on both sides. And then on this side, this is where you're gonna dump at. I don't even have to open the door, you can see it from this side here. And then this is gonna be this uh, area for you to get to your tanks. That's really all it's for. It's like a trap door for that. Low point drains. And then on this side, you have your 30 amp power supply, outside shower, and this is a 25 pound propane tank. It looks to be 30 pounds actually. And some power, cable and satellite, tankless water heater and then your fresh water fill and then city water connection if you are at a campground or at your house. This does have a weight at 3,261 pounds and that's pretty much all they have here. 45 gallon water, that's pretty much it. I mean, depending on what type of truck you're looking to use for this, I would venture to say 3,261 pounds is probably gonna be in dually territory. Uh, you might be able to do it if you're a single person with a single rear wheel and more of like a base model truck. But yeah, this rig is 18 foot, four inches. And yeah, it's probably gonna require a long bed. I mean, actually not probably, it's definitely gonna require a long bed for this size. Um, it might make more sense for one. But yeah, this is my first time. Uh, like I said, let me know if you liked the video. I definitely might try to do a video on the Lance over here, but they use a special key and I didn't have the key today, so we'll probably come back and do one on the lanch here. See you guys in the next video.